we have an intro. We should probably come up with an intro. In the video. In the video. All right. Okay, we're going to the lake again. This is a day trip to Bunsen Lake, my favorite day trip lake. And every time I try and do a video, it doesn't happen because I'm too in the moment. I'm just enjoying myself. So I'm stopping right now to show, not the lake, but to show what we do to get ready for going to the lake because it's a lot of work. We try to streamline that process uh, so that it's easy to do all at once. So right now it's the night before. We're leaving first thing tomorrow morning just for to spend the full day. But I thought I'd go through what we're packing the day before so that we can uh, just make tomorrow really simple. We've got a big 10-foot gazebo. This is to get out of the sun. A couple chairs. We've got a vinyl table in the back here. You can't see it because it's too dark. Large tote full of the kids' gear. That's a playpen, kid chair. The blue bag has uh, life jackets. The black tote, again, you can't see this right here, but it's full of our utensils, uh, plates, cups, uh, all the picnicking things that you need. We're gonna be meeting with uh, my wife's family and there's always too much stuff. So we're trying to streamline it. For one day, this is uh, it seems like a lot of stuff to bring. I'm also gonna load up the canoe so that we can you know paddle around. I've installed a pulley system in my carport so that it's easy to load this onto the truck with just one person. Okay, the canoe's the last thing to go on the trailer for tonight. Tomorrow it's put the food in the cooler and get out of here first thing. Let's do it. And here we are. Let's do it. It's morning time. Time to go. All right. Today we are going to Bunsen Lake and it is like what I would say the quintessential Canadian lake picnic boating experience or canoeing experience. I, I really enjoy it. It's really busy on nice days on the weekend. It, let's see here. It has three large parking lots. I would guess 300 plus cars it could fit and it fills up at about 8.30 or 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning if it's a nice day. So it is a, it is a in-demand place and I'm excited for today because we are going on a Monday which we've never done before. So we're hoping that it's not going to be busy at all because it's already quarter to ten. Is this our first time taking the canoe out for the year? Yeah. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So, taking the canoe out for the first time for the year, we might put the baby in the canoe. We've got a little life jacket for him, but we'll see if we feel comfortable with that. Uh, we're meeting some family, we're gonna have a picnic, we're gonna cook some breakfast, go canoeing, do some swimming, you know, all the, all the normal picnic day trip kind of things you might do. So we're like one minute away from the gate, and busy. This whole area will still have people parked on the side of the street walking down. There's a convenience store and they also have canoe rentals and ice cream cones and we've rented canoes there. They're pretty big and solid. Pretty happy with those. Hey look it's not closed. It's a lot of signs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's a bear reported in the area on one of the trails so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. If you do end up parking on the outside of this gate and having to walk down, it's a long walk. I would say it's a 45 minute walk. It's, it's a good distance, so keep that in mind if you do try to walk in here. Oh, it looks nice and quiet. That is very few cars. Wow, it's pretty empty looking. Yeah, that's great. Oh, man, we're gonna have the place to ourselves. Okay, we just finished unloading the canoe and all the gear. We like to pick the table right next to the boat launch. It means that we don't have to walk here very far and we get a kind of easy way to, to load the gear back up again when we have to leave. We don't have to haul it far, so 
We're just leaving the boat launch and we're gonna go park the car. Just buzzed up to the little corner store at the beginning of the park, grabbed some fish hooks, got my fishing license and an old rod. I thought I'd give it a shot while we're trying to canoe. So I don't really know anything about fishing here, but let's grab some small spoons. We'll see how it goes. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Why buns and good? Why buns and good? It's good because it's close and it yeah. offers fishing, boating, swimming, beach, dog area, hiking. It's like multi purpose. That's really true. Like, it's really got, kind of got everything. It's got isn't it? everything. You can have a picnic, you can go for a swim, you can go for a hike for an hour and a bit, or like multiple hours if you go up. That's you true. Can yeah. Have a public beach or a private beach if you decide to walk to the other side and go to the beach on that side. You can go boating, fishing, uh, family friendly. It's got bathroom facilities for those that require that. It's like a retreat, but not too far out of the city. And it's a very pretty lake, like very yes. pretty area yeah. also. Like it's nothing. It's, yeah, it's clean, like the water's clean. Life jacket, ready to go, baby. The water's nice. You guys ready for some canoeing? Okay. Yeah. Good job, buddy. You didn't drown, not even once. Not even once. In the canoe, grab myself a little spoon here go with red and white, and a little piece of sausage on the end of it. I don't really know what I'm doing. First cast, I'm gonna throw it out there, let it sink for a bit, and then sort of paddle around to a different area. Let's see how we go here. Let's see what happens. Good cast. That was perfect. It's way out there. That's how far it went. You hit my line. Hold on.
<laughs> That's right. Glasses make it the cool. Paparazzi are <laughs> I no one can take a vacation. I don't, I'm well, supposed to be at work today. I don't want to <laughs> know. You can get the, the right button three times really quick. Like this one? Oh, this thing? Yeah. Three times real quick. What if I can't come? Whoa! Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that and I said, I'm about to be on camera like, where? I just wear a life jacket to stay on. Put a life jacket on top of the towel. You'll be fine. Now, are you cold? He's skinny enough. You only brought a tank top. Hi, Griffin. Oh, Matt, do you want my hoodie? He's holding on to the paddle. Yeah. There we go. You get the paddle. He bellies out. Griffin, what about your adventure blog? Got anything to say? Halfway to North Beach. It's quite calm on this side, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. Strong underwater currents. Do not boat or swim beyond this point. So you can get sucked in here. Yeah. So Super clear, isn't it? Yeah. Sure drops off fast, though, eh? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Definitely should have brought shoes. Wouldn't have even been difficult to do. <laughs> to a metal metal bridge. This North Beach is much more quiet. Only a few people here compared to the, you know, couple hundred at the other beach. But it did take a good 35 minute paddle to get here. Man, did it drop off fast here? Yeah. It's the mist that I find really weird. That like that you can see the mist coming out of it. Why is it because it's hot? I'm guessing it's just because it's frothy. It could just be that it's so like churned from coming down the pipe yeah. that it's just particulated. It's like a movie, like there's three mermaids or something. <laughs> something in there, like danger for a reason. versus ocean swimming. Bunsen's great for that. And it's usually really cold in the water, but today it was 
it was perfect. So got some swimming in and canoeing and felt really good. I'm happy I could get out there to fish for the first time. I haven't fished in BC very much at all and I have not learned how to do it yet. And I have a feeling that what I did today was not good lake fishing here. It seems very different than where I'm from, but I'm gonna learn as I go and I'm happy to have finally got out there. Took our nephew Ryle out for a bit of fishing as well. He's practicing his casting. Uh, he was run he was using a lure big enough that you know nothing's gonna nothing's gonna bite this, but it was still good to see him. We got tangled up in our rods a couple times. I tried to get some video of him fishing. Griffin had a good time too. You can hear him talking in the background. I think he's tired now. I think we initially planned for like a meal and a half, uh, but it ended up being all all the meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks, because we always end up bringing too much food, so we had plenty to eat. Yeah, so we're on our way home, sun setting, sweaty and dirty and sandy and sunscreeny. I got a sunburn. I think it was a good day. Hopefully the video's interesting too. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll wrap it up there. See you next time. Griffin says goodbye. See you soon.